Hi, this is Brad Pilon, and today I'm going to discuss with you how do you know when you should be losing weight. Now, for the most part, weight loss should be determined by how you feel in your own body. But there are some calculations that doctors like to use to determine if you are or not overweight. And the main calculation is the BMI, or Body Mass Index. Now, this equation has been around for a long time, since about the 1800s, and it's always been fairly limited. It's based on a, a fairly the difficult equation, which is your weight in pounds times 703 divided by your height squared. So your weight times 703 divided by your height squared. For me, I'm, well, we'll say 175 pounds. So times 703 is 1,000, sorry, 123,025. And when you divide that by my height squared, which would be 71 inches, 5,041. So if you do that math, what you end up seeing is that my body mass index is about 24.5. Now to give you an idea, a body mass index of above 25 would mean I'm overweight. Going backwards to this equation, I would have to be about 180 pounds to be overweight. Uh, considering that's only about 5 pounds off my current weight, you can see there's somewhat of a problem here. The body mass index does not account for people who are slightly higher in lean body mass than the average person was when this was calculated back in the 1800s. So for myself, and I'm not an overly large man, there's already some errors in this equation. You can imagine for a elite athlete or even someone who's in the gym more often than I am, this equation starts to become fairly useless. Now there's another way that we can do this. and We can take our height uh, of our bodies and what we can do there is use our height to figure out our optimal waist. So that's me and I am 71 inches. Research has shown consistently that in terms of whether or not you're a healthy weight is easily equated by the ratio of your height to the circumference of your waist. If your waist is less than 50% of your height, you're in good shape. In my case, that would be 35.5 inches. My waist right now is about 32 inches, so I would consider myself healthy and of a good weight. The great thing about this measurement is it's really simple and it accounts for different people with different amounts of lean body mass. No matter how muscular you are, it's very hard to have a wide, wide waist and still be very lean. So even for myself, to hit about a 36 inch waist at my height, I would have to put on a significant amount of body fat. So forget the BMI for, for everyday use and just concentrate on making sure for men and women that your waist is less than 50% of your height. Simple and easy. Now the number one way to lose weight if you find out that your waist is more than 50% of your height is, is easy. You let your diet take care of your weight loss. For me, the simplest and easiest way to do that is with the Eat, Stop, Eat, Lifestyle Flexible Intermittent Fasting. For other people, it may not be fasting, but the key is find an easy, simple way to lower the amount of calories you eat. In terms of maintaining your lean mass, well, that's your workouts. All right, so this is Brad Pilon showing you a simple and easy equation for figuring out whether or not you should be losing weight.